Well, good morning, church family. It's Nate here. I get to bring you the devotions this morning, this uh, gloomy, cloudy, rainy Wednesday morning. I just want to thank Pastor Tim for allowing me this privilege. I want to welcome him and Kari back to the States. We saw them back on Sunday. It's great to have them back with us. And he took over again this week. But he had asked me uh, at the start of the week if I would be interested in possibly taking a day of the week to be with you guys, to share some devotions, to dive into the Word of God with you guys, and I am honored. And I love it, and I can't wait. So I'm going to be your Wednesday morning devotional guide. Uh, we are still working through my house, as you can see. We're on a very special wall today. This is our record wall. That's a really cool wall. Uh, it's got various different records that Candace and I have thrifted at thrift stores. Uh, so they're real cheap, they're real old, but they are more for decorative purposes than listening. But I wanted to talk to you guys this morning about records. Not just record albums, not just the record books, like the Guinness Book of Records for the world's largest cat, or anything like that. Um, we're going to be talking about the records that God keeps. And we have three verses I want to dive into today. This is going to be a little bit of a, of a travel through the, the Bible rather than just one specific verse or chapter. We're going to be talking uh, first off in Psalms 130. We're going to dive into that. So I'm going to read that for you first. <clears throat> Psalms 130, 3 through 4. Lord, if you kept a record of our sins... Who, O oh Lord, could ever survive? But you offer forgiveness, that we might learn to fear you, Lord. I am counting on you, Lord. Yes, I am counting on him. I have put my hope in his word. Wow. So David here, he's illustrating how we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And if God were to mark our sins, if we were to record it into a book or into a ledger or into, a, into some kind of history-keeping method, then, then not one of us could stand alone. We all need God. We all need his forgiveness. So I want that's one verse we're going to dive into. Before I go any further, I do want to point out some of these cool records. Because it's not just random records. We, we got these for specific purposes. Chet Atkins and his guitar. My grandpa, my dad's father, Pastor Ron's dad, Lloyd. He taught me finger-picking style through Chet Atkins. So that's got a little bit of history. Uh, right here, I'll just jump to a few of them. The singing Shook Family, Peace in the Valley. We got this together, and it's a great reminder that there's peace in the valley. Uh, if you go up to the top middle, there's Dr. Zhivago's soundtrack. Have any of you seen the uh, Academy Award winning movie, Dr. Zhivago? Good luck. It's slow. It's long. I had to do a, a paper on it in seventh grade for extra credit. Uh, but that it has a great piece of history in my life, too, because it was my grandmother's favorite record because that she knew Lloyd loved it, my grandpa. Uh, there's a symphony for Tommy here, a trombone. That record, uh, not sure, I never listened to it, but I used to play trombone in ninth grade. It was a very traumatic experience for me. I tripped over a touchdown pylon as I was lifting my trombone high into the air, and the entire school laughed at me. Uh, but it's a good moment. It's a good memory. It's, it's still a good memory. I'm not traumatized. Uh, and then up here in the top right corner, we have Bread. If you're going to listen to the, the great ballad band, Bread, well, if you're looking for a gift for Pastor Sue, it is one of her favorite bands from the 70s and early 80s. The best of Bread. So I just wanted to take a side note real quick, show you some of these cool records that they do have meaning, and they do have a special place on the wall and in our hearts. Well, after Psalms 30, so we're talking about David, we're talking about how he's saying, thank you, Lord, for not keeping a record. Don't Thank you for not keeping a record of our wrongs, of our sins. We're going to dive into Romans. We're going to go into the New Testament now. Romans 8, 1 through 2. It's a very, very um, familiar verse, probably to a lot of us. Paul is writing to the Romans in Rome. And he says, right here in 8, verse 1 and 2, There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ from the law of sin and death. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, what can God do for sinners like us? Striving to live a righteous life, but too often failing. He removes all condemnation. He 
gets rid of the records. <clears throat> Our heart's desire should be to live according to the word and according to the spirit. But should we fail at any time and fall short, we don't need to take on the heavy burden of guilt and condemnation. That's not to say we don't feel sorry for what we've done, but we shouldn't continually beat ourselves up for it year after year. We gotta give it over to Jesus so he can cleanse us and restore us. He's gonna take away that guilt and that condemnation. Well, I've got one more verse for you. I know I'm getting a little long. I got a little sidetracked with the records, but the third verse is in 1 Corinthians 13, something you've probably heard at many weddings, something that's very familiar to you. It goes like this. He's talking, Paul is talking about love and how we should love God and love others. He illustrates, love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable. <clears throat> and it, <clears throat> excuse me. It keeps no record of being wronged. So that's three times we find in the Bible this morning where God is not keeping a record of our sins. He's not keeping a record of what we've done wrong. He's looking at our current heart, our current path, our current trajectory. So let today be your timely reminder that God is in the record-breaking business. His forgiveness is always there, always ready for those that chase after and follow him. And that's my reminder for you guys this morning. So let's pray. And then I'll get to see who's on, and, and you guys can take a little closer look at the records on the wall. Lord, thank you for not keeping a record of our sins. Thank you for the assurance that because of Jesus, you will never hold our sins against us. Thank you for reminding us to lay guilt, shame, condemnation at your feet. Lord, we give it all to you today. All the shame and guilt we've carried through our lives, all the shame and guilt of our past. Lord, we hand it over to you today. Restore us, make us a new creation. We give this day, every new day, to you. Let the rains come. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to jump behind the screen and see who's here. All right. Good morning, guys. Thanks for joining me this morning. Hi, Vi. Hi, Becky. Hi, Alfredo. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Rose. Blessed good morning to everyone. Good morning, Brother Ron. It's great to see you this morning. Hi, Karen. Hi, Albert. Hi, Ivy. Hi, Deb. Love your walls of records. God bless each one of you. Thank you. Yeah, it's kind of a cool idea. Again, I take zero credit for any of the creativity you see in this house. It all belongs to Candace. Kim, good morning. Great to see you. Love you, too. Laura, uh, Michelle, good morning. Good morning, Larry. Thanks for getting up early. Tell Cleo I said hi. Good morning, Ed, and good morning, Maria and Mary. Hi, Mary and Joe. Great to see you. Deb, Vera, Nan, great to see you. Good morning. Dolores, great to see you. Oh, wow. A lot of people chiming in this morning. We love the record wall. Hey, RJ and Georgia are on too. Good morning, RJ. Hi, Georgia. Love you guys. Laura says she liked the band Bread. Everything I Own was our favorite. You know, truthfully, I was, that was the song that I had picked for my mom and I to dance to at our wedding. Pretty cool. I'm glad you know that song. Harvest Church is online with me. Go Nate. Woohoo. All right. Ed also loved listening to Bread. Who didn't, right? 70s were a great time. Great music. Uh, hi, Joe. Hi, Deb. Hi, Mary. All right. Thanks for watching from Apache Junction. Hope it's not too rainy out there. All right. I think I got to the bottom of the list. You guys remember to tune in tomorrow at 730 with Pastor Tim. He'll be back. And again, I want to encourage you guys, live free. Remember that there's no guilt and no condemnation for those in Jesus Christ. There are no records. There are record walls, though. But there are no records in God's book. Awesome. Love you guys. Have a great day.